Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Epson Playhouse. Uh, please, would you welcome onto the stage Graham Watson? Hello. Good evening, everybody. You're right. Um, thank you very much for coming to this evening for a very intimate evening with myself. I'm a bit nervous. Quite there's loads of you, aren't there? <laughs> You're right. Yes. Good. I need to just say that if you're going to throw fruit, please don't, because this is a rented suit. <laughs> and it costs a fortune. No, I'm joking. Has anybody never been to an evening like this before? Really? Paid all this money to come and see me? Must be mad. <laughs> Go cheaper, I promise you. No. I'm, I'm just going to explain quickly how I work. Um, the idea of the evening. See, I'm never used to this. In churches, they all do it for me. This is terrible, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to have a break about half eight just for about 20 minutes, and then hopefully it should be over by about 20 to 10, if that's okay. Towards the end of the evening, I'm just going to um, just go through a few personal things that I haven't actually made um, common knowledge to anybody yet. Um, so tonight will be the night where I, I sort of announce things. Can everyone see okay? Yes. Great. Um, brilliant. I'm just going to quickly explain how I work, and then I'm just going to get on with it, um, and let's see how we go. I'm going to put it into modern terms. If you imagine me as a mobile phone, and yours my little SIM cards, we're going to get together and we're going to make a phone call to what I believe and what we believe is heaven. That's the easy bit. We've all got one thing in common. We've all got loved ones in heaven. Um, so that's okay. The next bit, obviously, is the phone call coming back down again. This way, you've all got your friends. One minute you're chatting away, next week your phone goes dead. This is where my job gets a little bit harder. In fact, it's not my job, it's my guide. My guy's name actually is called Pi. Um, it's an English version, that's what I've called him. Um, and he loves it, really. Um, he's a Native American. Um, but he tends to wear jeans and a shirt because he's not into all dressing up, he's not like that. He has a great sense of humour, that's why I sort of work on a bit of an upbeat um, way. I don't mean to offend anyone, but that's just how I get it and that's just what happens really. And that's it, so we're just going to give it a go. If I come to you, well, there's quite a few of you, if I come to you, please answer back um, clearly so I can hear you, which would be great. If I'm getting it wrong or it's not coming right, please say, because this is your time, not mine, and I don't easily get offended, so I don't mind the word no, it just means I've got to work a little bit harder. Is that all right? You can smile, it's all right, you know. I can't see anybody, so uh, here we go. Are you ready? Okay, as I was sitting in there, I was with a lady called Val. Val, but she would have been Valerie, but known as Val. Does anyone understand her so far? You do? Yeah. I can see, you okay? Yeah. Right, I want to say that with her, she's quite a sweet lady, but you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Does that make sense? Yeah. I know I got you. And she was sitting there going, Corey's taking his time. You said half seven. They're not calling. Then when he came in and said, wait, long, she went, oh, about time two as well. She was very much, she wanted everything on time. Does that make sense? Yeah. She wouldn't be late for anything. I feel that with her service, everyone was late. Yeah. This is what she's telling me. Everyone was late. She goes, I'm not in there, but, you know, come on, let's hurry up. And everything went late and everything didn't go well. Does that make sense? It didn't go to plan as, as such. As she's coming through to me now, she's just saying that around you at the moment, you need to take things slower, not making things quicker. Does that make sense? With her, she would rush and get everything done, and then she'd be like, oh, I forgot to do this, this, and this. So she's talking about more to do with detail. You need to get the detail a bit more right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great, okay. Um, she's also coming through now. Okay, got it. Is dad in spirit too? Yeah. Okay, because he's come through with her. And she went, will you mind out? She said, oh, I'm having a little chat here, she goes. <laughs> And she's quite funny, really. And, and with him, I want to say that I want to put a medal on him because he fought his way as much as he could. Does that make sense? I want to put a medal on him because he didn't moan as much as what he could have done. Oh, he did. No. He's very nice. And I, I quite like him, really. So he's making sense. But I do. He wants to put a medal on himself. And just to say that I didn't moan too much. I don't feel that he dwelled on stuff. He'll tell you that he wasn't quite well or said it wasn't going quite right, but he wouldn't dwell on it all the time. He preferred having company around him. But then towards the end part, he got quite ratty and he didn't want people around him. So he's actually pushing people away. Does that make sense? Great. Um, got it. And so all you need to do now is just start slowing things down a little bit more and everything will come right. He's referring to a red door. Keep showing me a red door. Does that make sense? Is that your door? Do you understand the red door? I want to have caution going through the red door. I want to take a deep breath before I go through it. Does that make sense? It's a bit like, I got it. Right, but it's a bit like, you know, like the line that we the wardrobe. When you go through the wardrobe, it's all going to be magical. That's how I'm getting it. It's all going to be lovely. You need to take a deep breath before you start enjoying it. Does that make sense? 
hope so. I don't know, I'm just saying. Uh, and that's really important. Also, I know that November is very important as well. I know we're in November, but I know it's important too. I know the end of November is even more important. And he's like thinking, mm, I'm not sure about that. I'll tell you. Does that make sense? I just want to stay to the end of November, okay? And I also want to stick with white and blue. White and blue is important too. Because all I'm getting shown is white and blue. And I know that's to do with Valerie, but she likes to be called Val. I know white and blue is important. Because yeah. I got it, all right, I tell them. She was saying that all her flowers, they all look very similar. You think back. Oh, she's telling me. They're all quite similar. She would have liked all different colours. She liked the things colourful. All right, and that's what it was. Everything was just stuck as it was, all right? Yeah. But they're there with you. Just take it a bit slower. Everything's going to be right. I'm going to leave their love with you, all right? Thank you very much. That's what you call beginner's luck, and that's it. I'm done for the day. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Worth a try. I oh, know I got it. Right, bless you. Right, I'm going to come over here, I think, because I've got a lady here. Whose birthday is it tomorrow? Because I've got the mummy, I want to wish her daughter. Mummy in spirit? Yes. Yeah, because she wants to wish you happy birthday. She said she's 50th. <laughs> she always lied about her age, didn't she? She'd always set it back a few years. She said, if I had my way, I'd turn them around. But she really wants to wish you happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? No one ever wishes me happy birthday. Did you slip or miss your footing recently? Yes. Because she said she tried to catch you, but she missed out. She tried her best. <laughs> Is that in spirit too? Because yes. he wouldn't have got up off the chair, really, would he? No. He would just sit there quite happily, just, oh, in a minute, I'll sort it out. <laughs> too late then, wasn't it? But they're just saying, just mind your feet. Oh, yeah, mind your feet, careful. Don't go slipping over. And, right, I got it, lovely, great. So I'm talking. And did someone forget your birthday last year? And you got a card, I want to say, seven days later. Yes, yeah, she said, seven days later. Well, she wanted to get in there first. <laughs> so if people forget, it doesn't matter because she did it first. <laughs> Was you a morning baby? Yes. Yeah, she says. She's just telling me all the labour that she went through. <laughs> She said, oh, I don't suffer in silence, she says. <laughs> she had a... Th I know. I should go home, really, shouldn't I? Um, she's on about her hair as well. Her hair always had to be nice. I know that when... OK, I've got it. When you went and saw her, you would make sure that her hair was nice as well. Yes. And she thanks you for that. Because she always liked to have her hair nice. And that's how it is. And she said, it's nice that you've dressed up as well. I can't see it because of these lights. I really can't see anybody. Would that make sense, though? Yeah, she likes that. Right, I got it. And was she been one for flowers as well? Because she's talking about your garden. Always in the garden. She right about now. She'll start digging things up. She said, yeah. getting it ready for next year. Putting my bulbs in. She said, touching up any. Oh, okay, I got it. Touching up any grass quickly. She says, you have. Have you got a garden? Yes. What's to do with the patches? Because she said you got to get grass seeds for them. It really annoys her. Really annoys her, she says. <coughs> Remember, she wished you happy birthday. That's what she said. <laughs> She's like, she had a thing about her hands as well. She'd always sit there like this, wouldn't she? Yes. She had a thing, because that's all she keeps making me do, is like this with my hands, just making sure, like, I'm okay. But she just, oh, <laughs> I got it. She's just saying that in your garden, when she's been walking around, she's noticed there's patches. So now's the ideal time to put the seed down. I don't know, she's telling me. You have to tell me, it's fine, she'll tell me. So she said, now is the ideal time Pop the seed down because it'll be ready then for next year. All right? Okay. Cool. Who's Norman? She's all about Norman. I met up with Norman, she says. I can't tell you. Oh, she can. <laughs> I know, that's what she said. <laughs> Near where you live, here, there must be a shop, a corner shop. Yes. Yeah, she's all about the corner shop. Norman's to do. See, you don't know their names, do you? Uh, Terrible with names, she says. But Norman used to go to the shop and always said hello to you, and he always opened the door for you. You think back, it'll work out, she said. She said, it's all right now, he's over here. <laughs> so you don't have to think too hard. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? How she, the way she talks. But she said, you'll remember him, ask Norman. And you've got to start learning people's names because it would help. <laughs> got it. Right, I understand. Right, 
I got it. Who's bet or Betty? Yes, yeah, In heaven? Yeah. yeah. She bit nosy, wouldn't she? She would put a penny's worth in, wouldn't she? Yeah. Even if it weren't her business. <laughs> with you, I know I got it. With you, you tend to listen first and then you might just say a little bit if you need to, but you don't like to say too much. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I know, got it, bless. But she said, everyone's okay. And they're all gonna be around you for your birthday tomorrow. I don't know why 726 is important, but she says, I need to tell you about that. Is that when you were born? No, 726 tomorrow. Look out, she says. Oh, okay. It's hard work, this, isn't it? I should go home. She said 726 is important. Do you understand that now? Yes, I do. Good, I'm so glad they're here too. But anyway, she just wants to wish you her love. And I just want to say happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you. I'm going home now. <laughs> right, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. Where are we going? So, right, I'm going to come to you here somewhere. Dad's in spirit, Chelsea fan. Yeah. Got it. Oh, there you are. Hello. You are right? Yeah. Oh, bless. Right, with Dad, everyone was his friend. Does that make sense? Yeah. And if they weren't the friend, he'll make sure that they were. <laughs> Even if you don't want them to be. Does that make sense? You've never had it quite easy all the time, do you? You live behind your jokes, he says. You say your jokes because then some people don't see the real you from time to time. Does that make sense? Right, I got it. Thank you. Now, he would have had a Chelsea scarf as well, wouldn't he? Because he's got his scarf on. But do you know what his job is as well? That he, he helps people that have taken their life. And he's talking about a young lad that he had there that actually took his life with a Chelsea scarf. And he said, cool. Because he liked to have a bit of a giggle as well. And he went, crikey. He said, why use that one? He said, we weren't doing so bad at the time. <laughs> <laughs> not doing very well now, though, because I don't follow football. But he said, not doing great, are we? No. Well, I know the scarfing is important to someone here, though. Would someone understand that? I think I'm bouncing. Somebody would have took their life with a Chelsea scarf. Yep, I'm going to come back to you in a minute. Stand by, because this is what he's saying. This is why he brought this young lad through. Because he said it's important that this boy needs to talk as well. So we're going to go back to you now. Don't worry. See you in a bit. Right, I've got it. So with you, you tend to hold, hide behind your jokes. Does that make sense? Sometimes. He wants to say that during his time of not being well, I feel that it went on for a little while with him. And I feel that you notice changes with him as well. Yeah. That's how he felt. He felt that he was changing. And he said, your jokes got more and more and more to hide the, the true feelings, how you felt. Does that make sense? Yeah. He says, I know really deep down, he says, you miss me more now than what I was when I was here. Because yeah. you always think back to me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Got it. Right. Who's Simon? Because he's on about Cy Simon. Living, not dead. I can't kill him off. I'm not allowed. <laughs> I tried. I got into trouble. <laughs> Still living. He was a bit of a joker as well, wasn't he? Yeah. But no one actually knew that inside he was suffering quite a bit. But he used to every, every now and then say the right things. Does that make sense? Yeah. Got it. Oh, bless. He's funny. Right. And then he's on about a wooden box with, with paperwork in it. He's showing me like a little wooden box with paperwork in it. I wouldn't say like it's, it hasn't got like the world in it. It's got like birth certificates, that sort of thing in there. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Have you still got it? Mum's got it. You need to go through it. Sixth item down. I believe there's a... He's just showing me a picture of him standing there. He said he wouldn't mind that out. It's quite a nice one. Because <laughs> he didn't really take good pictures, did he? He said, that one's all right, though. I look all right in that one. <laughs> Whose wedding's coming up? Oh, because oh, he's got his top hat ready. He liked a bit of a party, didn't he? He didn't like a few drinks as well. But he did like a bit of a party. <laughs> he didn't like all the ceremony stuff, but he always liked the party afterwards. That was more fun. And he was, he'd be at the bar buying people drink, didn't even know half their names, but he was just, that's the way he was. He liked to socialise. And you're like that as well. You like to socialise as well, he said, but you don't give out your money as much as what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Is mum moaning about her veins? Her what? Her veins. Barricas veins, he said. You ask her. She's been moaning. 
And she's been moaning about her legs as well. So they've been playing up. He says, ask her about her veins. <laughs> and I said, why? And he said, well, she was moaning about her legs, so she might have something else to moan about as well. <laughs> She still made him the odd cup of tea as well every now and then. She forgot, didn't she? That's what he, no, he said. He still hangs around though, he finds it funny. <coughs> In your sitting room, you've got your telly. I feel that there's a light quite near it. He plays with that, doesn't he? It flickers. Yeah, and the bulbs don't last long either. Oh, you watch. He'll go back, He'll go back and blow it now, you know, you watch. But he's just saying that he plays around with the light just to tell you that you're there. And have you still got his watch? He's on about his watch. I know it was important towards the end with his watch. But he asked for it, didn't he? He's talking about that he asked for his watch. No, I know you weren't there. He's just filling you in. <laughs> But it didn't matter you wasn't, he said. But it's just filling you in the bits you missed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I know the watch is important. She needs to get it out from time to time, all right? I feel like it needs to end up coming back to you as well. All right? I'm going to leave his love with you, all right? Thank you. Right, where are we going? Scarf. Does that make sense? Would you understand that when I'm talking about the scarf, I feel like it was near a light? Was it a block of flats? Yeah. Right. Was it top floor? Yeah. Right by the light? By the door? Yeah. I picked the wrong day. Everyone was out. Yeah. No one was in. Oh, bless him. Didn't mean to do it, but no one was in. Yeah. He said, the idea that someone would caught me and then sort me out and I'd be all right. He said, but I mucked up. Typical me. He was a bit dopey, wasn't he? Yeah. That's what he said. I was a bit dopey anyway. He said, I got the wrong day. He said, if I picked another day, I'd have been all right. And he just said about, he was a big Chelsea fan, that's why he used the scarf. That's the only thing he had. And I feel that where he was, there were doors either side, and here there were children. And that was the worst thing that he was thinking about. Hopefully the children don't see me. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got it, right. Sorry, I'm really struggling with seeing, but never mind, it's fun. Have you got a son in spirit as well? Yeah. Okay. Would you have sung nursery rhymes to him? There would be songs that you sung to him all the time. Yeah. It's making me feel that you would have sung songs to him to get him off to sleep. Yeah. The lad that took his life, it was after your son's passing, quite a way afterwards. Does that make sense? Your son would have passed first and then he would have passed years later, he says. And he's saying that you would have known this guy though, wouldn't you? You'd have known him from him talking to you, passing in the street, saying hello. But no one would have worked out everything that was going on in my mind, he says. Yeah. But he's saying that he's mad. That's, like, that's a quicker way of getting messages, I'll tell you. I just text them through. So much quicker. <laughs> Honestly. I'm going to start that next year, texting. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, sorry. But he would have known your son. Yeah, because they're together now, because he talks to him. And your son's up and about, walking around, causing havoc with everything. Literally causing havoc, like running around quite happy, doing quite well. Where's the white teddy? He's on about a white teddy. You must still have it, or he must be still around. He hasn't got it, you've got it. Must be either it's a white teddy or it's a teddy or soft toy of some sort. Was you hoping that, because he said that you were talking about him coming through today, but you said, oh, I don't think you will. Yeah. He said, oh, of course I would. Christmases are never the same, he says. He said, but this year, I got it, thank you. This year, make it different. And I know that his speech must have been affected as well because he's speaking so clearly now. And he said, this year, can you just let a balloon off for me? Yeah. Was he football mad as well? Yeah. They're all football mad, aren't they? 
but just send it off in his colours for him. Just do that for Christmas this year, because he said that'd be great. And the lad that took his life, I know that... Sorry, you're right. Oh, I've got another box, you're right. Are you OK? Sorry. But I know the lad that took his life. I know there's people left behind still wondering what happened. I mucked up. I definitely got the wrong day. That's what he said. I wish I'd picked a different day. And I know that he would have been quite a local lad as well. Everyone would have known him. OK, but he's literally just saying, hands up, mate. He said, these are his words, hands up, mate. I picked the wrong day. If I got a different day, I've probably got a different reaction, but I can't change what happened. That's it. Done. And I know it was by a light, because he said that I was hanging for quite a while. He said, that's what he said. Um, he said, but I'm all right now. I'm in a better place. And I can then talk to people and people come and help me, like his dad come and helped him and made sure that he was all right, OK? So not to live in wondering what was going on. He said, it's happened, there's nothing I can do about it. Done. But your son, I know it's really important that the balloon at Christmas is really important. Watch where the balloon goes, because it's going to go off to the left. And it's just sort of going to sit there for a little while, and it's just going to go over to the right. And that's his way of just moving it around and saying, hello, I'm here. All right? I'm going to leave his love with you, all right? Thank you very much. First he worked this, isn't it? Ken. Where's Ken? Ken? Got to be a Ken. Passed. Got it? Am I with you? Perfect. Good looking lad, he says. That's what he said. He said that's what he first said, because I come to you and, oh, hello. He said, good, like, good looking lad I was. <laughs> Funny. With him, one minute I was here, next minute I was gone. He said, that's how it was. He said, I'm not one for suffering. He said, I couldn't cope with all that. He said, it was a better way to go. He said, I couldn't have done with all the illnesses and people. He said, I couldn't cope with that. So that's not me. He's a bit of a laugh, wasn't he? Like to have a giggle, didn't he? He'd jump out on people as well. Yeah. Especially like hiding wherever, behind cars, wherever you could hide, he'll hide. And you'd walk up the road and go, where's he gone? Oh, no. and you're like, you got me. <laughs> and even if he didn't make you jump, you still watched out for him. So I went, oh, that got me. Oh. Right, I got it. Right, thanks. On the, around the time that he passed, I feel like it took quite a while for everyone to sink in that he had gone. It just went on and on and on for a bit. That's how he's making me feel like it was like... He's, he's basically saying it was like an episode of EastEnders just carried on repeating. And people like, same reaction every day, like, they didn't realise. Does that make sense? And even now, people will talk to you and say, and no, he, he passed. He said he didn't realise just how much... I got it. I didn't realise how much of an influence I had on people. I didn't realise how many hearts I had touched, he said. He said, a bit like me, he said, I just live life, just enjoying myself, getting on with things. He said, and then that was it. He's all about his photo is in a frame. In a frame. Yeah, he's saying, I'll tell you, don't worry. I'll leave it to me. It, well, he'll tell me, not, you, not me. But he's all about the photo in the frame. And by the photo in the frame, there's another object sitting here. I don't know whether it's a little tea light, can tea light candle. There is. There's a tea light candle. And I feel like anniversary for him or some time is coming up for him for it to be lit. I know it's going to be lit soon. That's what he's saying. Would... Would it be in a lady's house? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Will that be his mum? Where's his mum? Oh, okay. I understand. Because he was just rattling on about his mum. Oh, she was a nightmare, wasn't she? You know her, though, didn't you? Yeah, I know. I got it. Yeah, right, I got it. Yeah, right, cool. She would, like, just over talk you. If you were talking, she'll talk over you. Yeah. She was. No point saying no. She would. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, I got yeah, right. She would like. Did she pass first? Yeah, because she said that she'd come and got him. Yeah, she did. Oh dear. Oh, I know she did, she told me. Well, just take a drink of water. Oh, okay. 
Okay, this is what I'm saying. I just feel like the passing with her and him weren't far. Right. Okay. It wasn't far between though, was it? Right. Because I just feel like you're just getting over one and then having to start with the other. Does that make sense? Yes. It's a bit like... Was she a bit like with money? She was like very careful with money. Because she's making a joke of it. When, if it was a bit nearer, I would have saved a fortune, she said. <laughs> she's terrible. But that would make sense, wouldn't it? She would, if she was going somewhere, if she could get a lift somewhere, she'd be happy. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Oh, bless her. Has your mum passed the spirit too? Because she's... That's what I'm saying. Right, yeah, cool. Because this is what she was saying. She was looking at you and all I can hear, because I can't see people, that's the wrong. And she's just saying, mum. Okay. Would you understand with her then you would tell her things that you'd like tell her your news? Yes. Yeah? yeah? You would just tell her everything that's going on. And she said, even after her passing, you were still telling me, which was great. Yeah. Carry on telling me, she says. Does your phone ring randomly for no reason? Yes. She says, I try and ring you if you don't pick up. <laughs> and I bet you if you did that 147 thingy bob, it'd be no number. She's ringing you. Because she has this news and she wants to tell you. She said, the milkman's up here. <laughs> she used to chat to the milkman, didn't she? I know, is what she said. She said, I bumped into the milkman. <laughs> she would. She, you're the same. You'd walk up the road. You won't get very far. You'd always bump into someone. Do you know what? If you've got all the time in the world, you never bump into anyone, she says. When you're busy, you always bump into people. It always make you late. And you go, well, if I didn't bump into so-and-so, I would have been here on time. That's your excuse, isn't it? Yes. She used to leave a little bit earlier so she could bump into more people. <laughs> she liked to feel needed. That's what she said. I like to feel needed that I'm around. And she always felt needed. Oh, got it. Now, she showed me her nails as well. What did you do with her nails when she was, you would have played around with her nails? You would have done all sorts to her nails. On the nail technician. Yeah, she said, you'd, oh, okay. <laughs> I had mine done as well. It's quite nice. Hurt though, I tell you. Anyway, she was just, yeah, yeah, she was just going on about her nails. Just going on about her nails, on about her nails, on about her nails. Oh, bless. And you'd always do a thing with her collar as well. You'd always sort her collar out, she says. She says, now it doesn't matter. She said, I can walk around my collar up here and my nails are growing, whatever. <laughs> oh no, right, I got it. Do you still do nails? You do nails now, don't you? She was with you, it must have been, do you, four days ago, was you working? Did someone want? Four days ago. Huh? Yeah, I know. Somebody wanted like little gem things on there. She found that hilarious. They kept falling off and putting back on. She said. <laughs> yeah, but then when they stayed on, they stayed on, didn't they? But you said, keep still, I don't want to fall off. She was with you. She was watching what you were up to. She was watching what you are up to. She thought that was great. She said, oh, look at them. She wasn't the nicest woman in the world, was she? The nicest? Wasn't the nicest woman in the world. Not mum, the lady you were doing the nails for. <laughs> <laughs> look, seriously, I'm not going to get on the wrong side of this woman. She'd have me, I tell you. I know, it's what she said. And she was sitting there, and she was playing around with the stools, she said. And I was watching you, doing all that. She went, oh, not nice this woman. She said, after all that effort you did as well, she's looking at her and checking them. Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. And you're like, that's why, right. that's all right. She went, I'd have, I'd have hit her. I'd have... <laughs> she wouldn't, I wouldn't she? She would have put them straight in her place, she said. <laughs> Is there a little dog as well? Yeah, because I've got the little dog bouncing around now. She said, it still don't sit still. Just flies around, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, she's funny. But yeah, she was with you when they've done the nails. They're not strange, that's what they do. Just keep your company. Did you have your hair cut shorter? Yeah, she said, you've got your hair cut shorter. I don't like it. 
No, she didn't like it. She don't like it. Grow it down, she says. <laughs> Keep your neck warm. <laughs> what do you need lifting? She wants to send a strapping lad round to lift things for you. No, there's something that's there that you've been on and on and on about. Need it lifted. Oh, you got a garden? She's showing me a garden. Right, let's go more. Of course, she likes to get up. There must be a slab that's sitting like this. There's something not sitting quite right. She wants it lifted. Sorted out. Is it like, like that? I've got one in my garden with two wings. Do you need to strap your lad round then? <laughs> yeah, we won't do it. It's been going on for ages. This ain't been going on. This like should have been done last year or the year before. There you go, right, I've got it. Because she wants to send a strapping lad round and sort it out. <laughs> she said, and then it'll be flat. She said, you don't know cowboys, she said. <laughs> because you said about the strapping lad that you've got, she said, mm, he doesn't do it very well. And you have to, like, try and badger him to do things. And then he still doesn't do it right. So she said, might as well get somebody else in. Because at least then they'll get it done properly. <laughs> Yeah. He doesn't hang his clothes up either, does he? No. No, she said it's all on the floor. <laughs> she wants to hang it all up for him. He's got a sweet way about him, she says. Does that make sense? She has a sweet way about him. She said, but he does leave all the stuff lying around. She said, I want to hang it all up, make it all tidy. There's no point because tomorrow it'll be the same, won't it? <laughs> Does he, do you still go into his room? Because she's showing me that you're straightening out his bed. <laughs> and even that, it don't matter, because he just jumps straight on it anyway, doesn't he? <laughs> it don't matter, does it? It's all on the floor and that's it. No point, she said. <laughs> so she said, you might as well just get him to do the slab. <coughs> That'd be funny. Did you do her nails? <laughs> the lady next to you? That's my oh, did you do her nails? <laughs> she wants them done again. <laughs> She does. <laughs> you have them short, don't you? I know, that's what she said. Because she's like putting the false ones on. Go, go and have some of that. She went with the machine. Go and have some of that. She went, you don't like it, do you? Because you're like this. I can't do nothing. <laughs> oh, bless. She's funny. She's lovely, though, isn't she? Yeah. Well, her hands got really cold as well. Because she was saying her hands got really cold. Yeah. And she'd be like this, warming them up. Yeah. She said, they're all right now. And you've left your eating on as well. I know, she said, she's going to go back, warm her hands up. <laughs> and it'll be all right, OK? So when, wherever you are, she's with you. You're sorting out the bed or you're doing nails, she's with you. She loves it. She likes to get involved, doesn't she? That's what she does, likes to get involved. Anyway, I'm just going to leave her love with you, all right? Thank you. You're welcome. No, it's beginners like this. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where we're going now. Oh, right, I've got a gentleman here and he got really confused towards the end. Does that make sense? Where are we? I want to say that he was a very smart man and then towards the end he got quite scruffy and a bit forgetful. Where are we going? I want to say that he was a tall man and I want to say that I feel like he would have been in like nice suits and looked nice, but towards the end he got quite scruffy. Where are we going, sir? Does that make sense to you? Yes? Not sure? Yeah. Would he have been like really dressed up smart? Yeah. Liked his ties? Look, messages are coming through that way now. <laughs> I love it, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Technology. But towards the end, he would have lost his appearance. In his eyes, he would have done, yeah. Got scruffy, he says. Not... No, scruffy is important. <laughs> I feel like he would have had a beard growing and stuff. Yeah. And he wouldn't have shaved. He, he had to be shaved. Yeah. Couldn't be bothered. Right. And he would have had a thing about his car as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thing about his car, even up towards the end. Yeah, the car out on yeah he would have had his car. Yeah. Always saw his car, he's telling me. I always saw my car, yes? Yeah. It would have gone after he passed. Yeah. Right. And it went for a pittance. Mm. Away. Yeah. <laughs> there was no money involved. <laughs> but he just said it went for a little amount of money. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And the person didn't look after it either. No. No, no, because no, he sat in the back going, what are you doing? <laughs> this was a lovely car. He always maintained it, always looked after it. Yeah. And he always made sure things were going well. 
And I just know that towards the end, everything would have gone wrong in his eyes. He lost control of everything that I wanted to do. Right, and I got it. And I would have had quite some embarrassing moments too. Right, oh bless. And I didn't, he didn't like pyjamas very much. You know what I mean with that, didn't you? <laughs> He'd be trying to take them off. They wouldn't sit right. He'd be like fussing around with them. He had to I know, but he would, didn't like them. He'd have them off. He'd be on his way. And I know, oh, I got it right. He's telling me if you looked at pictures of him, and then towards the end how he was, it just didn't feel like it was him. No. Yeah, great. Why is Mallorca important? <laughs> Was you going? I didn't go. I feel like it was a holiday that was meant to happen, didn't happen. Okay. I get, this is the way he's saying it, that people had to change their plans at the time when he wasn't well. Yeah, definitely. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I know there would have been a holiday around Mallorca Place. Okay. <laughs> but I started getting better, he said, and then I went downhill even quicker. I feel like in himself, he felt that he was okay. He said that I started feeling better and then I went down even worse. At one yeah, does that make sense? Because yeah. he thought, oh, I'm doing all right. And he had a thing about the clock as well. When people come and visited him, would it be in the hospital? Constantly. Yeah, he'd be on about the clock. Is it time for you to go yet? Yeah. And he'd be worrying about everything. He actually said them words to me. That's what he said. He's telling me, show him the clock, and he's just saying, oh, it's time for you to go. No, you've got things to do, you've got kids to sort out. Off you go. Yeah. Don't worry about me, I'll be okay. Yeah. And that was nearly one of the last moments you had with him. No. One of them, because you kept on about the clock. I just feel like there was a time when you almost left. Were you there when he passed? Yes. Yeah, but you almost left. Only the room. Yeah, but then you came back. Yeah. That's what he's saying, you almost left. That's what he's telling me. Oh, bless him. He's funny. I like him. Has someone still got his shoes? Yeah. Because he's on about he's still got the shoes. Yeah, I have. Okay. Can you shine them up a bit? <laughs> They're looking a bit dull. He is, he had a thing about his shoes, didn't he? They're not shiny, he says. Just go and buff them up. Are they in the box? Yeah. Yeah, get them out of the box. Don't want them in the box. And don't you dare give them away. <laughs> Did he give his car away? Oh, okay. But he just said, keep hold of the shoes. Okay. I don't know why they're important. Were they really nice ones? It's, it was a memory. Thing, okay. But I just know that these were important. He just said, to give them a buff. Get them out of the box. Give them a buff up. No. He's with you all the time. I know. I know. He just hangs around with you. Has your sofa had better days? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He's just on about, he just said, it'd be nice to change it now. Because you always do other things or you spend the money on other things and never on what you would like. Yeah, yeah. Because you want one of these nice little corner things. He says, put a bit of money away for them. Okay. Start treating yourself. Okay, You're welcome. Who around you would have had a child that went to spirit? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. But he said, keeping an eye. Doing really well now. Thank you. Oh. And associated with them, there would have been either a poem or a verse. It would have been written. It's all right. Okay. But it's what he's saying. It's just making me feel like there's a verse. They've read it and they understand it. Okay. All right? Just take the shoes, give them a bit of a polish. It'll be all right. All right? There was a poem around him. Okay. I read that one as well. But I know around the child there was a, a verse. I don't feel like it was a long thing. I feel like it was quite short. But he's just making me aware of that as well. All right? Okay, thank you. Bless. It's funny. Oh, is it? Right. And he would have liked to have a little tipple every now and then. Yeah. Great. Because he was saying, oh, Christmas. He went, just have a little one for me. Because okay, I'll be there anyway. He loved his Christmas, didn't he? Mm. Liked all the trimmings and the, oh, yeah. I know, got it. Turkey, everything. He loved all that. So he'd be around you for that. All right? Okay. Bless. You haven't got beef out, have you? No. Would well, you meant to have beef tomorrow? He said he ain't coming round now. <laughs> What's to do with the beef? He had a thing about beef. He loved beef. Yeah, he did. He couldn't chew it at the end. No, he's 
but he thought you were having beef tomorrow. Oh. He won't be round tomorrow then. <laughs> Just saying. But he did, he liked pulling people's leg, didn't he? Oh, definitely. That's what he's saying, pulling your leg. Just going on about, hey, my dear, he goes, I want beef, so I'm not coming round now, that's it, done. <laughs> Bless. Anyway, just polish up shoes here, BFE. Just all about your shoes now, all right? I'm going to leave his love with you, all right? Thank you. You're welcome. Where are we going now? I don't know. I'm going to try. It was really weird. Earlier, a lady sent me a message that said that I'm going to reunite a mother with their son. And I went, oh, that's nice. Now I've got loads of sons in my head. It's really strange. <laughs> Whose son tragically died? That's how I want to put it. Tragically died. I know it is. Don't have to say it. The idea is you meant to say yes. No. Okay. I feel like he went out and then didn't come back. Yes. Make sense? I want to say tragically died though. That's what he's saying. Yes. Was he a bit of a jack the lad as well? Yes. Okay. Would you have kept on about him having these flies up as well? Yes. Yeah, he did. He would muck about, wouldn't he? Yes. <laughs> he, he would be very close to the edge. With his humour, because we were mucking about back then. I said, oh, I'm going to do a Lee Evans, like, can't get out of there. Yeah, do that, do that. That'd be funny. He goes, <laughs> Oh, bless him. I want to say that now people were talking about him recently, yes. chatting about him. What's to do with 38? Why is 3 and 8 important? 3 and 8. Keep showing me 3 and 8. 38. Can't think of okay, I'll come back to you. I'll get him to tell me. Don't worry. With him, he would sort of adopt people on his way, he says. Yeah. Waifs and strays, he said. If they needed help, I would try and help them. Yeah. He didn't do much for helping himself in times. He'd always worry about other people rather than himself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. Where you live, there's got to be someone that you know at 38. Uh, they need help. They need help? Mm-hmm. Yes, I do know. Because he's saying, because he'll worry about people all the time. Yeah. And even like, if he's sitting, oh, I must go and make sure they're okay. And he wouldn't forget, he would make sure before he went off to work, wherever he went, he'd make sure they're okay. Person at 38 needs help. That's what he said. Hmm. Got it. And you need to slow down a little bit as well, he says. You're rushing around far too much and you're trying to do too much. Yes. Oh, laughing. No, it's funny. You know, like when you go shops, now you've got to pay for the bags, didn't you? He said, buy a couple of extra ones. You can't keep jamming it all in, he says. He says, what's 10p? He said, at least then you'll weigh your load out a bit more. Yeah. Is there medication that you need to collect as well? Because yes. he said, make sure you collect it. Because <laughs> you were talking earlier about stacking it up more because of Christmas. Yes. He said, start doing that now. Oh, bless. Got it. Right, I got it. Did you refuse your flu jab as well? Yes. Yeah, he said, oh. <laughs> he said, take them with you. <laughs> He said, take the tissues, you'll need them. <laughs> oh. Now, I don't know what you're trying to show me. He keeps showing me this jumper. I feel like a jumper's important. Whether it's a jumper, I just know it's an item of clothing, a top item of clothing that you've still got. That's what he's saying, he's showing me. And it's had better days. Yes. Right. <laughs> and it ain't been washed. Yeah, that's what he's, oh, he's telling me. Don't have to tell me, I'm telling you. And every now and then you'll, you'll have it near you. Yeah. I got it. He was saying, right, this is what you were saying, that he's been chatting with people up here and their loved ones down here made it into a pillowcase. And you always moan that you'd like a pillow around the back here. Yes. Can you turn it into a pillow for me? He said, because then I can support your back. He said, because towards the time that you supported, I know, don't make me cry. <laughs> he says, towards the end, you supported me more than what anyone else could have done. He said, I know it's ironic, he said, but now I can support your back. Oh. He says, so can you turn it into a pillow? Yes. He said, well, don't chuck it at people. <laughs> Look after it. Because <laughs> there's got to be a rip in it as well. You yes. go have a look, there's a rip in it, because he's saying that it will fit nicely into a pillow. Now, because you can't wear it, because it's all dodgy. Got it. So, can you do that? He said, that'd be really nice. Get someone to sew it, though. <laughs> You're not good at sewing. He said, your idea of running stitch and somebody else's isn't the same, he says. 
he would have cut himself and been stitched. He's on about, and it wasn't very neat. It was like it got rushed, he said. He said, you would have been better off stitching it because it would have looked a lot neater than what they did. <laughs> <laughs> but I know he just wants you to turn it into a, a pillow. That's what he really, really wants, all right? And he would have had a thing about putting pressure on your shoulders, like, like this, pulling you close, because that's what he's doing to me, he's pulling me close to, to him. Does that make sense? Not in a gay way, he said, but he just <laughs> wants to show me. That's what he said, I just want to show her my mum, how I would grab hold of her and make sure she's all right. And he sort of shake you a little bit as well. I know, he says, bless, I got it. And, right, I got it. And the other night you had a thing across your knees or your legs and it fell and he put it back for you. Yes. Because he doesn't like you getting cold. Yes. Worries about you. And I don't know who you're trying, who keeps asking for money and I feel like it's a man, don't give it to him. Yes. They can't have the money, he says. They've got to go and do the things they've got to do for themselves. He said, I had to in, in the long way around. Yeah. Didn't have much, but what I had, I was grateful for. I could have had a lot more if you'd give me more money, he says. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, isn't it? <laughs> Bless him. But I just know that there's somebody trying to take money or borrow money. He says, don't do it. Let them do it for themselves. Because, I don't know, I've got it. because they're not going to learn, he says. And then all you're going to do is be skint. They don't want you to be skint. All right? That's what he says. And will you get rid of the video recorder? What's to do with the video? He's showing me a video recorder. Have you still got it? No. What's to do? Oh, you have a look. <laughs> you look. He said, it's time to get rid of it now. Because he's showing me all the discs. Frisbeeing them around. So just get rid of the video recorder. He says, no point having it anymore. All right? Got it. And I'm going to leave his love with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, where are we going now? Terry. Terry. I keep getting the name Terry. Make sense? We back with you? Great. But I feel like it's a male Terry, not female Terry. Terence. Terence? Are you moving your glasses or putting your head up? No. Oh, okay. You're Terry, but would you know a Terence that would be called Terry? I, I do. Whom? Okay. No, I can't kill people off, I'm not allowed. <laughs> I tried this before. When I first started two years ago, I can't not allowed to do that. Would you have a really old pair of trainers? Yeah. Grotty. Yeah. They need like do you know what? No, forget that. Pop soil in them, you could plant things with them, they're that bad. <laughs> they don't need chucking, you could use them for stuff. Would you know <laughs> There'll be stuff that you've kept potting off all the time, sorting out paperwork. Oh, yeah. And it keep potting it off. Did you used to put it in ice cream pots? Yeah. Because he's showing me ice cream pots. You need to sort it all out now. I am. No, you're not. <laughs> I know, I got it. God, it goes on and on and on. But you need to start sorting it out, he says, properly. I am. Because there's money due to you. You know that, don't you? Yeah. And you need to sort it out because you need to have this money rather than just leaving it where it is because eventually it's going to be worth nothing, he says. This money needs to come to you. It's really, really important. I know you hold on to things forever, i.e. the trainers that are going to turn into pots. But you need to sort this paperwork out, because if you don't, you're going to lose a lot of money. Okay. All right, that's what he wants to say. Okay. Yes? Great. Who was premature? Uh, my cousins. Okay, but all right now? Yeah. Older now, aren't they? Yeah, not adults. No, older is what he said. But it was really touch and go. Yeah. Couldn't let anything happen to them. No. Make sure they're all right. Oh, who does this? Because I'm getting this with the old cheeks. Um, they do it to this poor baby or child. My dad used to. Yeah, don't do that. It's horrible, isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> so, sort your trainers out. Okay. Sort your paperwork out and you'll be all right. I just wanted to let you know that, all right? Okay. He'll leave his love with you, all right? Thank you. Welcome. Where are we going now? I've got run over. Why did I get run over? i got a lady here that got run over. But lived. She didn't die, and then she did die. <laughs> Bad, isn't it? Where are we going? Where's your friend? Lady going there. Does that make sense? Not you again. We can't have you again. <laughs> got run over, but they're all right, and then died. Oh. They're dead. No, I got me here. No, 
died. No. Who got run over? This lady got run over and then she she was she passed elderly though, she didn't die young. Where is it? Because she got hit only on her leg. It was only like a small thing, she made it into a big thing. She did. Where are we going? Lady here. Lady here with glasses. Me? Yeah, yeah, you. Yes. Would this make sense? Would it have been a neighbour? I don't feel it's family. Okay, if she had cut her leg, she would have made a big thing out of it, but it was actually quite small. She said to me that she got run over, but she didn't. She got hit just gently with a car, but she made a big thing of it. Could be somebody I know that ended up having a hit. But right. <coughs> and passed. She has now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> I can fit them in. But she's just on about, she would have made a big thing out of things. And it would have been minute, and then something big happened, and she didn't really fuss about it as much as she should have done. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Would you have had tea with her? Yes. Right, that's her, because she's going on. And she would have made a big thing about tea. No, I'm, I don't think you are with me. I'm thinking about my ex-mother-in-law, but I don't think... She loves you. <laughs> right, let's go with this for a minute, because I, I, she's just pointing to you. Would you got on better with her towards the end? I've always got on well with her, always. In the beginning she didn't, mm, not always. She pretended. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I've got it. You didn't get with her to begin with, did you? I had to get to know her. You had to do a bit of work, she said. She made you work a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah, probably. But you two were thick as thieves at the end. You, she was like mother and daughter, really. Yeah. Forget the mother-in-law bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But she's just saying, oh, I got it, right. She's on about when you're going around for tea, she's showing me a teapot and little cakes. That would have been nice. Yes. Would that have been you that would have done that? Yeah, I used to bake quite a bit. But she wouldn't have done it, would she? No. She'd just give you a mug. <laughs> so how's she showing me it? Yeah, I, I would prefer a mug. But you would have, like, made, yeah, made it fancy. Tea, yes. In a right, because I'm just saying it's a bit fancy. Right, this is what she said. I know it's with you, because she goes, don't you dare go off somewhere else. <laughs> oh. Now. Right, I've got it. Well, she had been a bit of a curtain twitcher as well. <laughs> in, a reserved, in a reserved way, though. Possibly. I know she was. She was really nosy. But she wouldn't tell people she was that nosy. You're worse. That's so what she said. She said you're worse. You, she'll be very reserved about it. You'll be like, oh, what's that? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> I'm going to do a side to me. Yeah. I know. Well, you're, I can't see you. This is the thing. I've got all these lights. It's different for me. Um, now, <coughs> she's on about a 50p piece that you don't spend. There must be... Did you ever think about the dates? She showed me the dates on a 50p piece. Oh, years ago. Yeah, and you wouldn't spend it, would you? No. You ain't got it now, she said. Right. Have you? Okay, so you should... I've got coins in it. Yeah, she's just showing me the dates and everything. Okay. Now, would there be a necklace where the cast doesn't fit, fit properly? I have got one like that. Look. She said, get all the coins out and go get it sorted out. <laughs> Because she would. She would literally go into drawers and just find bits of money or bits of everything. She'd have it all scattered all over the place, wouldn't she? Yeah. She wasn't one for, like, keeping it where it should be. She'd laugh and she'd say, if I had my way, I'd have stuck all my money under the mattress. <laughs> Not just meows keeping. She would. She would hide it, wouldn't she? <coughs> she, would, didn't like the, she couldn't be bothered to go to the bank, she said. It was just better to hide it all over the place. But she said, towards her ending, as it were, you rallied round, she said. Yes. You rallied the troops, she said. Yes. That's her words. And you did more than enough for me. Thank you. More than what a lot of people would have done. She said, you did a lot. And I know you said mother-in-law, but she takes the in-law bit out. <laughs> As you've saying more, I'm getting, oh. I'm getting a 
lady. We can have six, seven, I don't mind. <laughs> if that's the case, it's probably just both of them rattling on, like fish wives. I don't know. I just know that what I'm saying to you, I've just got to keep saying it. But I just know that this person wasn't a relation. No. Wasn't blood. But in her eyes, she might as well have been. Yes. Right, got it. Last thing, because she's showing me. Where's the document with the missing gaps? She's on about that, it's really important. I feel like the document's been there a while, but there's gaps in it. Does that make sense? Yes. She really wants the gaps to start being filled now. So start looking at filling the gaps, okay? Yeah. Really, really important. Thank you. And did you, there's something, she just telling me to put a plaster on the back of your hill as well. <coughs> Have you got to wear new shoes? No. She's showing me new shoes and she's telling me to put a plaster on the back. Right. Because she doesn't want it. wearing new shoes on next Saturday. Oh yeah. Could have worn them tonight, couldn't it? Been videoed. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> but she just put in plaster because she doesn't want any harm to come to you, she says. Thank you. Wants to make sure you're okay. okay. All right? Yes, I'm going to leave her love with you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the first half all over, but you're like, yes, thank you. <laughs> um, we'll start back again at 10 to 9 if that's okay. Thank you very much for putting up with me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.